Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you're all doing well. So I asked you guys over on my Instagram stories to give me some questions. So today I'm gonna answer them while I do a little bit of makeup. There isn't too many questions, but I'm gonna answer like the best ones. Okay, there was quite a lot of questions about Hirun and us being engaged and just questions about us as a couple in general. So the first question is how did you and Hirun meet? It's actually really not that much of an interesting story. We basically just met on Hinge which if you didn't know is a dating app um we actually tried to plan our date a couple of times and it got cancelled and then on the the date that we actually went on it was like a super last minute sort of meet up like he just texted me while I was at work and was like look should we meet today I was I don't think this date's gonna happen I was actually ill like I had a really bad like runny nose and sore throat but I thought let me just go because it might be nice so yeah we just went to South Bank Christmas Market because it was around November time and yeah evidently it was nice because the rest is history. Another question was how long have we been together? We've been together for just over four years now and we got engaged when we was at about three and a half years I think. Okay so the next question is such a nosy question but I'm so here for it. It's how much do you make on TikTok? Like how much money do you make? Do you know what? I love the brazenness of that. I love how you just didn't give a crap that it was a little bit nosy. I love that for you. So to be brutally honest with you, you can make a lot of money on TikTok. There are a few different ways in which you actually make this money. So the first one is kind of like a newer thing and it's called something like the creator program beta I think something like that and that's basically where you get paid per your views which is kind of similar to what YouTube has done for years so depending on what region that your viewers are in and like a load of other things you get paid like monthly for your views mine is completely up and down all the time because it depends on obviously what your views are at so if your views are really good then you can get paid some really high numbers and if they're not so good obviously not the next way you can get paid is from TikTok shop so you can essentially earn commission from sales that you sell on TikTok shop when you like link a product and stuff. This to be honest is quite minimal. Literally whenever I link a product, I don't think in my head I'm linking this for the commission. I just link it because it's easier for, you know, the viewers to actually just go ahead and buy it straight from the video rather than trying to find it themselves. Unless a video goes completely viral with a link on it and you end up selling like thousands and thousands of pounds worth of whatever product it was that you linked, you don't really get much money from that to be honest with you. Okay, and then last but not least, you get paid from brand deals which is arguably like the biggest amount of money that you can sort of make brand deals is kind of where it's at and they can pay i mean it's it's so ranging it completely depends on what content you're creating how many platforms that content is getting put on but that kind of is like where the big bucks are at and i'm not going to go into specifics because i personally don't feel comfortable putting my whole like financial situations online but yeah if i'm being brutally honest i have had months in doing social media where I've made over £20,000 so that just gives you an idea of what you can make that is not every month I've had months where I've made under £1,000 and that was pretty recently as well but yeah it completely ranges I'm jumping back and forward a bit I was supposed to ask this question after the first question but the next question is god how many times can you say question the next question is do you and Hiran want children and the answer to that is a big fat yes we absolutely do want children if it was up to me we'd have children literally yesterday Today, I am so broody at the moment I cannot lie my sister-in-law is literally ready to pop like she's gonna have her baby any day now and it's gonna be the first baby in our family my mum and dad's first grandchild my first like blood niece and um, she's having a girl I don't know why I was gonna say niece or nephew because I know it's a girl and we are all just so excited but being around this whole like baby kind of world has just made my broodiness even worse like I want to get pregnant right now but I obviously can't well it's not obvious to some people but but yeah, me and Hiran do want to wait at least another couple of years because we just want to do some more shit, basically. We just want to get our lives together a little bit more before we have kids. We've obviously got our wedding planned in 2025, so we want to get that done first. Maybe go travelling a little bit after that and just like enjoy being a married couple for like a hot second. And then after that, we'll be getting down to business, guys, and we'll be popping them out because I'm, I, I, I need them. I'm desperate. 
Someone's asked, how is engagement? Is it any different from dating? And that's actually a really good question, I think. The answer is engagement is really, really fun. And I feel like the answer to your second question, is it any different from dating? It's kind of like an equal yes and no, because on one hand, our relationship hasn't really changed at all. Like we're still exactly the same. But on the other hand, kind of everything's changed because obviously we were serious about each other anyway. Like we lived together. We always knew that we wanted to be together and get married and have kids and all the rest of it. There's something about like actually being engaged that just makes it that little bit more real and just makes it feel so much more serious and secure cure and I do feel like me and Hiran have got closer because of it. I'm not gonna lie, the wedding planning has been difficult because there's been so many people's opinions to have to deal with. Obviously, me and Hiram being from two completely different cultures as well doesn't really help. <laughs> so yeah, engagement and kind of wedding planning in general has kind of had its ups and downs for our relationship. It's definitely tested us at some times, I must say. Not everything is always perfect. But yeah, I do think, for me, it does feel different from just being boyfriend and girlfriend. Like it feels like shit's got real now you know like our wedding date is booked in like it's happening and yeah I do feel like like I said we have definitely got closer which is lovely to be honest the next question is what made you want to be an influencer again I think that's a really good question to be honest with you ever since I was young and when I say young I mean young I was probably around the age of I don't really know between 12 and 14 when I discovered Zoella and if you don't know who Zoella is then we can't be friends, to be honest with you. No, I'm joking. But she is basically the OG beauty influencer. Like, she was the person who, in my opinion, created beauty influencing. And I just started watching her when I was really, really young. And I just knew straight away that that was going to be my career. I didn't know how the hell I was going to get there. I knew that it was going to be hard. But I just knew that I was going to be doing that. And, I mean, more than 10 years later, it is actually my full-time job. So I clearly stuck to that goal. I remember telling my mum and dad, like, I want to be a YouTuber at the time it was just all about YouTube now it's more about like TikTok and stuff but I always told my mum and dad like I'm gonna be a YouTuber and I remember my older brother was always like laughed at me like no you're not but you know what proved him wrong because here I am actually doing it the reasons why I wanted to be an influencer was because I always always had a passion for makeup and beauty and just like all things girly and I always knew that I kind of wanted to be I, I, I'd say not always I didn't always know that I wanted to be my own boss because when when I was young I didn't really understand like all of that sort of stuff but yeah as I got older I definitely understood that I want to be my own boss I want to work like in my own sort of time span I don't want to have anyone sort of telling me what to do at what time I just wanted to sit here and like record like this is such a chilled job to be honest and that's just kind of what I wanted from my life I don't know why on camera my makeup looks really patchy because in real life it doesn't look like that and it's really annoying me also don't mind the fact that I haven't got mascara on I'm actually just gonna go and film a TikTok talk ad for a mascara which is why I haven't put mascara on but yeah that is all the questions I'm gonna answer for today there were a few more but maybe I will do another Q&A soon and include those ones in that don't forget to leave me in the comments what you want me to film next so I kind of am still a little bit unsure of where I actually want to take this channel whether I want to just do like sit down talky videos like I've just done or if I want to do vlogs or reviews I don't know let me know in the comments what you want to see from me because that will really help me to kind of navigate what you guys actually want to watch basically but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video please subscribe if you haven't already oh my god that just rolled off the top like that gave me flashbacks to when i was like 18 doing youtube all the time and i don't know how that just rolled off the tongue so i literally remembered what i used to say but anyway yeah bye guys